I recently updated an old entertainment center into mudroom storage and seating, and I wanted to find a way to fill that empty space between each side of the unit. I had taken off the bottom doors of the entertainment center, so I figured I could use one of those doors as a frame for kind of a mirror and hook uh, centerpiece. The doors had this black mesh material in the frame of the door, so the first thing I had to do was remove that. All of the doors in the entertainment center had these four wood strips going vertically down the center of the frame. So I just uh, took a jigsaw and started sawing off all of the pieces. All of the wood strips were connected by a small nail, so I just used a pliers and a, and a flathead screwdriver to jimmy each one of those nails out before I moved on with the rest of the project. There were two holes on the front of the frame where the door handle was, so I just used some wood filler to fill those in and when the wood filler was dry, I went ahead and just sanded those smooth. I did a quick sanding job over the entire frame with a 120 grit sandpaper. I use the same paint for the frame that I used on the entertainment center and since I coated the entire entertainment center with two coats, I did the exact same painting process on the frame. Two coats of this white cream colored paint. I picked up a mirror from a thrift store that was really close to the size of this frame but it was just a couple inches too wide so I picked up this glass cutter at Home Depot for three dollars. I read that the best way to cut the glass was to put oil along the line that you're going to cut so I just used a small craft paintbrush to paint on a line of oil. Once the glass was prepped I grabbed a straight edge and held it in place and then using just a little bit of pressure I went over the glass twice with the blade. Then I moved the glass over so that the part that I wanted to break off was over the edge of the table. Using a little bit of pressure I kind of pushed down and that whole piece just snapped right off. To hold the mirror in place, I added three screws over the top and bottom of the mirror edge. And then I added two thin strips of plywood across the mirror and drilled those in just for extra security. And the final touch was adding the hooks. So I took five hooks and measured them out evenly across the whole bottom of the mirror frame and drilled them all in.
And now we have a nice framed mirror with hooks to match our mudroom storage.